so this is new. So if you guys do want coins and want the best players in the game for the cheapest coins on the market, make sure to go to u7buy.com and use a discount code Visa for 5% off your total order. If you don't use a discount code, then have a cry. So enjoy the video. FIFA is a game full of players that you love and players that you hate. And funnily enough, most players that you actually love in this game, you also hate at the same time in the same pitch. A few months ago, I did a video titled to Top 10 Most Hated Players on FIFA 20 now today. I'm doing a part two of that, but I'm gonna keep a completely different top 10 other than just one player, just because of how HD actually still is. The entire list is completely changed because there's a few more players, new SBC cards, new objective cards, new metas, and I feel like this deserves a part two because there's a lot more new players in the scene. But first things first, tell me down below in the comments who is your top five or top 10 most hated players in FIFA 20 now to this day. The date is 24th of February 2020. So this is like a halfway stage of FIFA. I feel like you guys are gonna feel the pain uh, in many ways in this video. I heard that if you start having a panic attack, if you like the video, then it will help you completely. And also, if you're the place to get the best in real life football cards on the market, then go over to footcard.co.uk for the best 2020 cards, 2012, 2013, 2014 cards, retro cards, and you can customize it to your own ability. Any retro card that you want, just by requesting it. So, go, ch go check it out, guys. And yes, let's get into the video. So, starting at number 10 of the top 10 most hated players in FIFA 20, and I'm gonna go with A, a nice guy, a obscure guy, because not many people actually have his card is SBC UCL Joe Gomez. Road to the final Joe Gomez is by far one of the most ridiculous cards I've faced. And because he plays for Liverpool, typically if you face Gomez, you also face Van Dyke. So you got Gomez and then also Van Dijk in the same team. Now, of course, I could still say Militao, Lenglet, Ferran, you know, these are the players, but these are kind of obvious, and I've already said them before in the past, you know. And Militao was in my previous videos. I don't want to say the same thing, but Joe Gomez is honestly like Van Dijk, but even better sometimes. He's even faster, even better dribbling. He's honestly like, an absolute nightmare to play against, and honestly, I've never wanted to destroy my keyboard more times than me trying to get past this defense. Number nine coming up is going to be... Mertens. Mertens is a another obscure one. When you use him, he doesn't feel that good, but when you play against him, I, I, pff, every single shot he has goes in. It's like he has like a plus 20 on his shot power and he just rockets into top ends each time. Any shot near post just goes in. If, it, if it's a tight angle, still goes in. I swear to God, someone scored a goddamn Scorpio kick with Mertens against me. The guy's five foot six, man. Now, you only face Mertens on a rare occasion nowadays, but honestly, when you see him, you notice he's there. You, you can tell. Number eight, and we're gonna go with a true classic and his name goes by player of the month Jamie Vardy now because his SBC was so cheap when it came out and of course let's say 60% of the entire you know, community has BPL teams therefore most kids that's not got a great team uses Vardy and this guy is just a football merchant he's got the pace and that's it he's not even got amazing dribbling you see this guy in a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow and every single attacker are just making free balls every Even if you're, uh, even if your centre-back touches the ball, he's still going through his legs because that's the power of Jamie Vardy. And you know what? When I used him, I didn't even like him. But apparently, he's amazing against me. It's honestly the worst thing in the world. Number seven. And the last video, I gave you guys Tostegan as one of my most hated goalkeepers. But this guy, honestly, he, he's close. He is close to reaching the top of my most hated goalkeepers. So that is Oriola. Oriola. Oriola! Why is this guy that good? He's like... 82 rated and the worst part is he ain't given him winter refresh cards now everyone's got him and now he's shit he's like 60k for 87 rated Oriola. he's actually quite cheap that's the worst part and of course because Oriola's from real madrid therefore if you see Oriola, you're also pretty much guaranteed to see varan militao Lenglet, the usual suspects when it, when it comes to this sort of team so Oriola. You know what, to say was in the last one, and here's my next goalkeeper, Oriola. He's in, the, he's, he's, he's in this list. Number six is nice and simple. There's a normal gold card, but he's very deadly, even to this day. And his, and his name is Sadio Mane. Same reasons as why Vardy's so good. If you have Mane in a narrow formation, he will do the most perfect 
just beautiful but yet deadly like runs you will ever see he is so good when it comes to his attacking positioning he's so fast so once he gets past your defense there's no way you're catching up to him and this this scares me to think how good is normal team of the year is imagine how good team of the is and his normal gold card rips me each game man is a say it's the same player the same player each game and the same player does those free ball free ball free ball through the middle and it goes through my entire defense as if they're not even there and money is most of the time in that conversation usually if you have like a really fast player like especially especially a winger they don't have great finishing you know that's like the one of the good parts that the finishing is not perfect but Marnie man like it, I don't understand this guy right foot or left foot it's like he has five star weak foot bro honestly I can't even imagine how good his team of the year card is man it, it scares me okay so if you remember I said at the start of the video that there is still one person which is still in this video in my top 10 who was in my previous top 10 and his name goes by Ben Yedder oh my god this guy is cheap but yet he's he, he makes no sense. He's broken in my eyes. Left foot, right foot, five star weak foot is deadly. And he should not be as good as what he actually is. But he just is. He is the gel which connects any team. And it honestly it it really annoys me. The amount of times I face his inform, and his inform is like 240k, it's not even cheap. But guess what? I still face him. Play the month Ben Yedda, or even just the number 87. Even his gold is still actually disgusting. And the worst part about Ben Yedda is that he brings a presence, which by that means that if there's a Ben Yedda, there's an Mbappe, there's a Neymar, there's a um, Usman Dembele, there's the same genetic plays you see each time. If you see Ben Yedda, they guarantee you see him in the team as well. But at number four, and this is a player which I missed out on. I did not actually put this guy in my previous video, and I don't know why. I don't know how I forgot this guy, but I need to give him credit, and that is Musa Sissoko. Normal, normal Musa Sissoko, or even worse, a Footmus Sissoko. He is in my countdown because his Footmus card is in like every top 100 team unless they have Hullet of Yera. Now, my God, fortunately, Sissoko is not that good uh, in real life. Otherwise, he would have so many informs. If he had more informs, then this guy would be broken. I feel like he has to be in this countdown because I did not put him in the previous one, and I think that he needs more credit. Any kid which has a BPL team has got Sissoko. Any guy that's got any team that involves Dembele and you need a link to BPL Son, then if, if they have Son, there's also Sissoko. Go play foot champs now, and I guarantee he's in about a good 40% of most teams still. And now it's time for the top three. The worst, most hated players to face. I gotta put him in here. And it's going to be Werner. Or even worse, the player of the month one. Now, now, you guys may say, oh, wait, but he was in the last video. You said that you only did one. No, this is different. The 90 overall Werner. The even worse, upgraded Werner. This is not the same guy. This is not the same guy, man. This is not just a normal car, which is OP. If I see this guy in foot champions, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm, I, I'm putting my entire defense on back line. And I'm preparing for every single lob free ball imaginable. This guy is as bad as money when it comes to the most ridiculous through balls and attacking runs I've seen in this game. It was not a massively expensive SPC. It was like 300k to get the 90 rated. And because of upgrades as well, yeah, he's got even more OP, boys. And now, it's the last two. And you guys, if you played FIFA in the last month for even more than three or five games, you already know who I'm on about. But the last two is Europa League Road to the Final Kent. And the next person is, I can't even say his name without throwing up, is headliner Adama Traore. These two have completely changed the game in the last month or so. Kent is not even that good of a card. He's 82 rated, but yet I don't get what is up with him, but he's got the finishing of a 90 overall. And Adama Traore, man, if you get this guy down the wings, then it, 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 it's, it's GG. It is GG, Nori. 99 pace with insane agility as well. Your left back is going to have an absolute nightmare against this guy because he's past him. Right? You are going to need to put your Adama Traore at left back to defend against a Domitriore. That's the only way that you could even get rid of them. Sometimes I see someone put a Domitriore as like a right winger, and I purposely I purposely put my Domitriore back on that side, on that side of the pitch, just to defend against it. And for that reason alone, Kent is number two for my second most hated player, and number one as of right now. It may change in a few months, but 
Still to this day, I mean, imagine a team of the season. Oh my word, imagine a team of the season, Toyori. No, I can't even think about that. But yeah, number two is Ted. Number one is Adama Toyori as my most hated player in this game. I changed the way I play just by seeing his card. That's how mad he is. And there you go, guys. That is my top 10 most hated players in FIFA 20. Let me know if I missed anyone out. I know there were some nominees. There was like David Luiz flashback. There was a few others. But tell me if I missed anyone out, guys. And who else is your top five most hated players? And yeah, guys, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. I am also live on Twitch every day. So go follow me over there. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching. My name is Vizel. See you next time.